Hi folks, welcome back for more Let's Play Sam and Max Save the World. Now that we've talked to Jimmy, looked at Sybil, and looked around the shop, let's talk to Bosco. Hey Bosco. Greetings and well met, friend watchman for hire! Sam, how come I suddenly have a primal desire to beat Bosco savagely? Because he's talking like a Renaissance Fair attendee, Max. It's an innate fight-or-flight response. I am El Bosco Drill, the unhinged, mighty half-elf ranger! El Bosco Drill, the unhinged. Well, the unhinged is right. Okay, Bosco. While Max prepares the Thorazine, why don't you tell us why you've become an elf? Huff elf And I'll tell you why. I've had multiple delivery conspiracies, I've had missiles aimed at me, and now I got rival arms dealers setting up shop in my store. Point being? It's not safe for me here anymore. I gotta take my business the only place I can feel 100% secure. The internet. What does this internet doohickey have to do with being an elf? Oh, well, you know. elf! It's cause everyone on the internet has to pick an avatar. Like a dwarf or an orc, or a hot young 15 year old girl curious about the adult world and willing to experiment. I didn't think it was possible, but he's actually less creepy as the elf. Half elf fool! I never mind. You guys don't understand how computers work. <sighs> You're taking your store online? Where will that leave us? We fear and mistrust computers. Don't worry, guys. My online store will offer twice the inconvenience at thrice the price. Well, see you there. <laughs> How's business, Bosco? Business is deader than a valet parking attendant at a convention of mob informants. That bad, huh? That rat showed up and started taking all my customers. Free enterprise, Jack. Say what you will, the rat knows his anarcho-capitalist economic philosophy. Max, I only bought you those encyclopedias because you promised me you couldn't read. <laughs> we want to buy something. I have the finest goods in all the land! Tell him we'll pay him just to stop talking like that. What would Squire care to purchase? Let's see what, what this got? biological oh, weapon much. is. Just a virulent biological weapon. All right! Biological weapons? We don't like to judge. Speak for yourself, Sam! But isn't germ warfare a little on the south side of ethical? I've got to compete to stay in the market, guys. If an arms dealer's going to open up shop in my store, I've got to up the ante. All right, how much for this virulent biological weapon of yours? One billion dollars. We'll take it. What's another billion or so to the national deficit? I'm sorry. For safety reasons, I no longer accept cash in the store. You'll have to pay online. That's hmm. pretty inconvenient. Thank you. Indeed it is inconvenient. Oh, well, let's see the random thing Sam can come up with this time. Do you have any dual core processors with 512 megabyte cache? Nay! I wonder if Sam even knows what that means. Do you have any chimpanzee sized diapers? Nay! Do you have any barbecue plankton chips? Nay! Do you have any keychains with a plus eight modifier to dexterity? I wish. <laughs> Do you have any self respect? Nay! Haha, <laughs> tricked you! No, I understood the question. I understood it all too well. You sure do know Aww. how to suck the fun out of everything, Bosco. Do you have any Lombos? He's stale! Oh, what kind of ha what kind of any part elf are you if your Limbus went stale? Do you have any dual core processors with 512 megabyte cache? Nay! Oh well. On second thought, nothing for us now. As thy wish! But don't blame me when you're stuck! In the torched wasteland, with nary a bag of enchantment to defend thyself. See you later, Bosco. To the battle! Godspeed, defenders of the Shire! Okay. Well, if it isn't obvious, we want that cannon. So let's try and take ye cannon. Hey! Hands off the merchandise, pigs! And we can't get ye Ooh. cannon. Well, now that his back is turned... Ah, darn, he got... Now's tricks, Jimmy. 
just living the life of a simple businessman making an honest living. Says you. See you later, Jimmy. Well, you notice how he had to turn around to reload after he fired the cannon at us? Let's take advantage of that, shall we? Ooh. And quickly, while he's still turned around, we grab him. I'm stuck! As president, I resolve to address the nation's rat obesity problem without delay. Let me out of here! Oh, we'll let you out of there soon enough, Jimmy. Soon enough. <laughs> so now we have something that can touch Sybil from across the room. So she can't flail around and stop us from punching her in the head. It's amazing how many of our problems get solved by hitting things in the head. Too bad Super Ball wasn't fixed that way. Oh well. Maybe we'll get another chance later. I still need to look at that sign, don't I? Well, now that she's flailing around... No! There we go. Knocked her out of her trance. Hmm. What happened? Am I at the respawn point? Is she coming on to us? Wake up, Sybil. We freed you from those wacky techno goggles. Did you guys just hit me in the head with a rat fired from a cannon? It doesn't sound as cool when you say it. Hope you're not overly peeved. It was the only way to break your hypnotic trance. I wasn't hypnotized. I was playing a computer game. No need to thank us. We're freelance police. It's what we do. Thank you. You guys just ruined my new job. Your new job was flailing around like a hyperactive fan dancer while screaming gibberish? That job's already taken, lady. We're freelance police. It's what we do. <laughs> I'm a beta tester. I was playing Reality 2.0 with those goggles. And look! You broke them! And I haven't even paid off the deposit! Well, let's find out about this Reality 2.0 gig. Ah, Reality 2.0. I suspected as much. No, it's didn't. a new, full immersion, interactive, massively multiplayer adventure. You play with these VR goggles and a Wi-Fi link to a distributed game server. You might want to explain some of your more elaborate terms to my technology-challenged little pal. I'm confused by your word, reality. Oh, sorry. Along Sometimes I forget you guys are Luddites. We are not. We're just very good friends. Reality 2.0 is like a video game. You put on those goggles and enter a different world. It's going to be the biggest thing on the internet. Never pegged you as a computer geek, Sybil. How'd you get the job? I was checking job listings online and found one right next door. Lefty's back? I can't wait to see him. Sam, have you seen my good machete? <laughs> no, Lefty's gone. Now that space is being used by the cops. The cops? The cops moved into our neighborhood? Those dirty liars! We're all the police this neighborhood needs! And then some. Not police. It's an acronym for... well, for something I can't remember. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Max? I highly doubt it! These cops guys must be behind our computer crisis. Where did you say those cops guys are? Over at Lefty's old place, right next to my office. Hmm. Well, let's see what she was doing as a beta tester. What's a beta tester? I play computer games to find bugs that need to be fixed before release. Don't you have to have experience to do that? All you do is go through somebody else's hard work and point out what they did wrong. I was a therapist, remember? This is true. Aren't computer games a colossal waste of time? They're not so bad, as long as you're not stuck in some tedious dialogue tree. Have you guys ever actually played one? They make players antisocial, violent, without conscience or remorse, and too dependent on instant gratification. It seemed redundant. Well, yeah, that, that's true. I'm sure that you and any legal counsel that represents you can see how we thought you were hypnotized. Typical anti-game propaganda. I was perfectly <laughs> fine. I just wish it hadn't happened on my first day of work. They had you start working on a Friday? Today's Monday, isn't it? You've been playing that game for an entire week. She's an addict, Sam. Time for an intervention. 
We'll need some cocktail peanuts, an Iron Maiden, and, oh, a box of handkerchiefs. This is going to be emotional. An entire week? Maybe I don't want this job after all. You're not supposed to cave that quickly. And you call yourself an addict. <laughs> is the game any good? It's all right, I guess. There's way too much repetition, though. Is the game any good? It's all right, I guess. There's way too much repetition, though. Is the game any good? It's all right, I guess. There's way too much repetition, though. Is the game any good? It's all right, I guess. There's way too much repetition, though. No, oh, I'm, I'm done with What's that. What's wrong with the goggles? You broke them, that's what. It looks like the rear slot downstream signal framostat regurgitator chip is blown out. He has no idea what he's talking about, does he? Never. <laughs> What's so important about those goggles? Well, I paid a big deposit on them for one thing. They're the only way to get into Reality 2.0. And I'd bet Max's annual salary they're the only way to get to the bottom of this computer crisis. Max has an annual salary? Where did you get those goggles? From my new employers, of course. The cops. Is the game any good? It's alright, I guess. There's way too much repetition, though. I couldn't resist one more. Sorry about that. See you around, Sybil. Look for me in the unemployment line. I kind of feel bad about that, but we did break her out of that trench she was they're in. They're broken. And yeah, they're broken. Okay. Huh. Oh well. I think it's time to go pay a visit to the cops. See what they have to say. And they're over at Lefty's. Next item on the agenda. If you'd like to talk about the bake sale and raffle, press 1 now. If you know the name of the topic you'd like to raise, press 2 now. I hunger! Refreshments will be served after the meeting. I think we stumbled into the warehouse where Steve Wozniak makes erotic movies. <laughs> Proximity alert! Hello, and welcome to the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. State your business. Okay. What's the big idea hypnotizing our friend Sybil with your hinky goggles? Sybil, P-A-N-D-E-M-I-K, inductee 48,726-5. She's enjoying reality 2.0, rated E for everyone. Everyone, all will fall, there is no escape. If you'd like to join the internet and experience reality 2.0 for yourself, press or say yes now. Okay. What does the internet have to do with your little virtual reality game? The internet controls everything. The internet dreams of a world beyond this one. A world of games. A world of commerce. A world with neither boundaries nor exits. Now, using the combined computing power of an entire planet, that dream is becoming a reality. Reality 2.0. It's totally awesome! Wait, the internet? It makes sense. Only an entity with access to universal knowledge could cause computerized chaos on a global scale. It's not what you know, it's who you know! The Internet mm. knows everyone. By making use of its multiple networks of personal contacts with other machines, the Internet has gathered the sheer computing power necessary to instantiate Reality 2.0. Fine, but where does the hypnosis come in? Reality 2.0 is rated E for everyone. Everyone! All will fall! There is no escape! Of course. This isn't about screwing up computers at all. It's about the people. It is? Reality 2.0 is nothing less than a fiendish plot to hypnotically enslave... Well, everyone. Great! Then it's simple. All we have to do is destroy the internet and all our problems are solved. I think that's easier said than done. Where can we find this internet? You will fail! The internet is everywhere! And nowhere! Divide by zero error. All computers on the planet are now working to create Reality 2.0. The only access to the internet is through Reality 2.0. That's interesting. We'd like to play Reality 2.0. Reality 2.0 requires our advanced virtual reality goggles, which may not be available in some markets. If you already have a pair of goggles, press or say yes now. 
Sybil has a pair, but there's a broken part. Your girls explode! Game over! Like a Lee Hood on broken rear slot downstream signal from your staff regurgitator. 99.6%. Distance hmm. replacement chip. Stop complaining and just do it. Enjoy your new signal from a stat regurgitator chip and experience all that reality 2.0 has to offer. But I want to play too! I doubt they have a pair that will fit around your hideously oversized skull, Max. The whole family can enjoy reality 2.0. Take our complimentary goggles designed for special needs children so that the little ones can play along. Neat. But, I'm kind of out of time for this video, so... When we return, we will see if we can find out more about Reality 2.0 before actually going in there and investigating. So, next time, more of this. See you then, folks. Take care.